In this episode, we're gonna talk about where bed bugs come from. Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, we're gonna talk about where bed bugs come from. Uh, I get the question, you know, whether I'm speaking in front of crowds, people will sometimes ask me, or I'll get it through email, through Bedbug TV. And the bottom line is, is there's a lot of different ways that people can mean that question. Uh, and so let's talk about a couple of different ways. And this is more of a fun episode than anything else. But the bottom line is, is so where do bed bugs come from? Well, what do you mean? Um, you found bed bugs in your house. Where did the bugs come from? I have no idea. Um, you know, I, there's a lot of places that you can get bed bugs from. Now, obviously, the most common that we run into is used and discarded furniture. So people take in used furniture or something they found outside on the side of the street. It has bed bugs on it, and away you go. Um, sometimes you can get it from travel, like hotels, motels, airplanes, buses. You know, it's unlikely that you encounter bed bugs in trains and planes and, and buses. Um, but it can happen and you know there I'm sure there are isolated incidents out there that, that that people have brought them home from those types of environments now again not common and it would not travel on a plane because of it but it can happen uh, hotels obviously you know we're in a hotel room here you know could this hotel room have bed bugs and I stay in it sure unlikely though still you know I mean the data right now suggests that at your average hotel one to two percent of a given hotel rooms will have a problem at any given time so that means there's a one in a hundred chance you stayed in a room that has bed bugs. And then in regards to the number of bugs inside that room, the average is just a handful. And so what's the likelihood that you take a reproducing infestation home if you stay at a hotel room that has bed bugs? It's actually fairly unlikely, or at least that's what most experts think. And so hotels get a lot of attention, but I don't think they're nearly the source that people make them out to be. And then there's lots of other ways that bed bugs can make it into your life, you know, whether it's summer camps or God knows what. And so the bottom line is, is using discarded furniture is probably the number one cause of where bed bugs come from. But there are many other places. And, and most pest control professionals, if you ask them that question after they inspect your home or treat it, I know as, as from my perspective, I don't answer it. Um, I have no idea. I can't tell you where you got bed bugs from. Unless it's something extremely obvious, like you had no bed bugs, you brought this couch in off the side of the street and now you have 10,000 bed bugs. All right, that was probably the couch. But beyond that, I'm not going to touch the question. And so where do bed bugs come from, let's say, evolutionarily? Well, bed bugs came from bat bugs. Um, well, I should say bed bugs came from caves where man once lived and then evolved into structures as evolution occurred. Um, I don't think most people are asking me that question in regards to that, um, but that is where bed bugs came from. Um, sometimes they get the question from pest control professionals, where did these bugs come from? Like when you know we know the united states didn't have them for decades after world war ii and then all of a sudden let's say around the year 2000 2005 they started showing up again well where did they come from they had to be somewhere during that time and what i can tell you is there were very very isolated pockets even here in the united states where people were still dealing with bed bugs um and so it could have been just you know an, an endemic issue where we had it here and it just slowly exploded um, there is some genetic data out there that is starting to say, you know, worldwide, where did the resurgence start? Um, but I'm going to pose the question of who cares? Uh, you know, I, I don't know where it started from and I don't know what country it came from. And quite frankly, I don't care. Um, you know, I don't see what that has anything to do with the control of the bug or getting rid of it. It's back. It's here to stay. Bed bugs aren't going anywhere anytime soon. And if they came from China, Australia, or the moon, what does it matter? Um, and so, you know, I, there is some data coming out that is starting to, to, to point to where they might have originated or where a large source of the resurgence started from, um, which is interesting just scientifically, but I, I don't think for people watching this video, it has anything to do with anything. And so, um, that's an episode on where do bed bugs come from. It depends on what, what perspective you're coming from, evolutionarily, worldwide, or how did the bed bugs make it into my house? Um, that's the most common area that people are asking about. But uh, if you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.